right, universe to go back. There is no sound. We have a live actual plate and your dragon. And you got to hold out there. Yeah, it goes back. Okay. So you're talking about a dinosaur shot dragon integrated with live action plate. So my first impression, a couple things. The tricky thing is your color. All of this starts to blend in. Yes, I can see the difference here, but it, it's just, I would find, I mean, the sun's over there. Maybe you can have a bit of a stronger light to get some rim light here at the end, but I would definitely start changing the colors. It gets it a bit, it's a bit difficult to see. I see it, I know what it is, but you might as well change the color so it's really visible and pops. And then the other thing is it's very, very slow. At this point, if I go four times faster, <laughs> there's more energy, there's more interest to it. That's my main concern is that it's so slow. Because with that slowness, you're also starting to kill the weight. It's such a slow um, flap because it's not a half flap where he glides or it or she, where it's kind of a, an adjustment. I'm going to stay up there. This feels like, no, 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 I'm flapping because I'm flying. But they're so slow. And it's there's an overall softness to the membrane and the, and the, the sides as well. And especially here as you go down with this first. And there's not that much drag in the tips here. It just feels like it's a very soft plane. Where I'm not quite buying the sense of resistance and strength as he goes down or it this I buy but you know you fold your wings as you go up and you do have a reversal here but again it's very flowy soft and we have one two three four five six seven eight one two I don't know it's not that much in rhythm but there's just it's just there's an overall spliness and softness where I know you're bound you know to that plate doing this but it could be something where it comes in shoo, goes up and then does a bit of a, like a side turn shoo, like the think toothless you know not that this is super cartoony but something where there's more energy to it and there's more very variation in the path um i don't know if you want to add anything to it where <laughs> flies away and then there's a chopper you know chasing things and shooting at it and that's why it has to go over there it goes over there and then we shoot da, 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 against the the rock side as the the chopper comes in and flies behind it and there's a second one coming i mean there's there's a bunch of stuff you could do but that's that's kind of where i'm at um the main thing it's slow and there's a softness to the wing flapping and the overall shapes where i don't i don't sense a strong structure there that makes sense. Hope that makes sense. But that's kind of what I have, especially here too. As you go up, we're so far forward into this, and you bend a bit more back so that we are like if that's your dragon, they're actually in figure eight, but going back to front. So this is the head, it's back to front, and this is borderline getting into like we're up front here, and then we're almost swimming where the wings go back. That's kind of, that's my concern there. But also first pass, you let me know what you want to do and like how far you want to change this, what your thoughts are, different plates, different dragon, all that jazz. Like how far do you want to push this? So uh, let me know. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.